there's been a string of bizarre deaths in the globe's financial circles. In the past few weeks, uh, five high-profile bankers have died, all from apparent suicides. Tessa Arcelia investigates. Their untimely deaths grabbed headlines, three of which happened within a week. Be it the big investment banks they worked for, the senior positions they held, the public nature of their deaths, or all three, once again, it raised questions about an industry largely blamed for bringing the global economy to its knees in the 2008 financial crisis. Michael Taylor, a former Goldman Sachs bond salesman who calls himself a recovering banker, knew this world well. It's so extraordinarily competitive and so focused, profit above all, uh, and so transactional at every moment, like extreme pressure turns carbon into diamonds, you know, extreme pressure can both accelerate human achievement and in some cases break people. The pressure in calling the shots. The form of banking we've got at the moment has no interest in the people it affects um, because, in a sense, legally they're responsible to investors and stockholders. You make amoral decisions without thinking about the impact that it has on the people, job losses, people losing their home and so on and so forth. Pressure to rake in profits or the pressure to put in more hours than your peers. After the spate of recent deaths, big firms did try to ease tension by telling their junior staff to take more time off or at least to try not to work on weekends. It's kind of a disconnect between, hey, have the weekend off, but also make us a ton of money. And ultimately, uh, making a ton of money is what's going to keep you around. So it doesn't strike me as a, a real solution. Joris Leyendijk spent a year demystifying bankers, interviewing dozens of finance workers on the condition of anonymity. The degree to which bankers are trapped has been really a really important finding. I think we keep on projecting this idea on bankers as masters of the universe. They have everything we want. But if you look at their actual lives, they can be fired in five minutes. This is a deeply dysfunctional and utterly abusive system. So there's this real taboo in banking, like the army, to own up to uh, one's vulnerability. Tessa Arcelia, RT, London.